50 sets of stickers and they were like, what is this kid doing in here? <laughs> There now, no chance. Easy, buddy. <laughs> All right, man. Good morning. Right, I'll show you, Mr. Fucking Car Knowledge. <laughs> Come on. He used to have a Pantera car. I said that's a band. I think he means Panamera. So this is Richard, Mr. King. Uh, social distancing. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> um, owner of the Manual London and business partner on the Driving Club. Exciting. Welcome. Yeah. This is his cool office. Yeah, well, that's a sofa, that's a kitchen, that's some artwork, that's that pump. And that Coca Cola fridge looks great in here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the dream. Yeah. 400 cars, whopper screen, two relay screens, back of house. Bar trucks. So this is this is how many people are involved, right? How many people are going to be working on this? A few hundred? Yeah, a few hundred, yeah. Yeah. So this is Richard, Eric, the co-owner of the manual. Me, overseeing the marketing side. Brett, get comedy, does all the booking of the artists. Paul goes ticket line. And he's the main owner in this. This is how many people are working. You've got comedy and music booking, talent liaison, music and talent programming, music and talent on site. You've got Liam here, Phil Carter, the manual, talent and budget keeper. You've got web development, social community management. You've got ticket line marketing, operations manager, ticket line, account manager, ticket line, and then other partners that we're working with. You've got me who is overseeing all the marketing, iJan, social media manager, account managers, and uh, digital marketing, influencer marketing, and then Sky VIP and mostly media. And then this, this all feeds into PR. So that all feeds all the way back to me. This is the in, insane work site. Like this is the build of the entire festival. You've got Richard King, and then under him you've got uh, Gemma Duffy, Rose Williams. Under them you've got Food and Beverage, Site Liaisons, Peppermint, and then you've got bar operation, booking, order system, all that goes underneath. And then you've got Colab who are dealing with sponsorship, but I'm actually linked to them also at the moment. Um, and then on production, you've got Chris Woodford, event safety consultant, Nick, head of production, Riley. And then when it all starts to get built, you've got Michael and John who are managing the site, which we'll meet next week. Chris, who's very important, event safety consultant, because obviously the amount of hoops you've got to go through for COVID. All these people are so ridiculously important, and you'll see next week. On site operations and suppliers, you've got fencing, toilets, water, power, waste and recycling, event offices, site structures, site crew, plant and machinery, furniture, prep and rep. So that will give you an idea of how big this thing is. All those names are made up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Richard. Just Richard and what an absolute disguise of nonsense. Yeah, uh, there's just two of us. <laughs> He's normally good. Yes! Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. I need a haircut, are you a hairdresser? Yeah, boss, do you like me? <laughs> see their office and um, to see the site map and the, like the family tree of everyone involved and now we're going to Peterborough to look at our first site of today of two. Time for Bruno to basically embarrass me and poop on the floor. Yeah? Excited? Various locations. Would love I think to. Of, um, the, the bigger field is the one that you you drove past on the way in. Yeah. Like that. Come on. We need your approval, Bruno. How did it go? They seem to be up for pretty much anything because 
obviously no one's doing anything so and they've done big comedy there before so it's a great setup uh, and now we're off to Oxford to look at the second side of the day so it's a lot of driving today Kirtlington I don't know if we're going to like a new festival site or we're going to some eyes wide shut party but look look at this I think the only one that's comfortable here is Bruno. <laughs> He's looked at that and gone, yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> this is Cattlington Park, potential venue. Bruno's future house. If you imagine a festival out here. So imagine you're a DJ and you, we have a stage here and then the crowd there facing the house with a light show. At idea stage, obviously at the moment. But um, turns out the owner's a car fan. So follow my Instagram. Are you in the you in the business of buying cows today? No, I'm not in the business of fighting cows either. So yeah, festival sites come with cows. So we just visited Kirtlington Park. I think I've said that right. Which is an incredible place. Um, the only trouble with that place is that they don't have a track record around that area. But, I mean, it's a great place. Um, today's been good. It's been interesting. We've been in the sun too long. And I am absolutely knackered. So, I'm looking forward to get back to Shoreditch. What's this? Bruno. Look at his face. You want a doggicino? Yeah? Okay. Everyone's gonna be like, your dog's gonna be so fat. But he's happy, all right? He's happy. And he doesn't have this every day. Oh, look at your face. does everything. All the mob bullers talk to her about everything. She's like the boss. The most important person after Bruno. Yeah. Bruno's first, then Rosie. Oh, that's the best one I've ever done in my life. Really? Saying John? I was trying to get out of the way because this is way more interesting. Also, by the way, um, for the people that have emailed me asking about investments, um, head over to my website, johnjosephborshu.com. Um, and there's a video there explaining about how you can um, send me your idea um, and apply for an investment. <laughs>